everybody. My name's Sherry. Welcome to my stamp studio. So this is going to be a quick card. It's, I have, um, we got back late last night from a week in New Orleans and part of it was backstage. Part of it was just fun time with my husband, but we got home late last night. And since then I've done loads of laundry. I've done um, picked tons of tomatoes and um, did a little bit of gardening, but it really needs to be tended to. Uh, I did, got food ready for this week. You know, all the stuff that when you go away for a week and you can just ignore, all of that has consumed my day thus far. I've gotten a few orders, uh, phone calls from you guys with orders because celebration is ending. I'm not sure which, I have two cards for you. I'm going to do one today, which is going to go up late, and then I'm going to have another one tomorrow. So both of them will be in August. So a couple of things with August, celebration, final days, a lot of stuff is selling out. So if you place your order online, you can see what is still available. If you give me a call, if there's something that you wanted that isn't available, I still may have some of them. Some of them I've already promised to others of you. So I'll try to make it work if I have it for you. Some stuff I don't have or I'm already out of. So just give me a call if you want to place your order on the phone, but do that on Wednesday. Um, because my Tuesday is going to be gone. Then, um, so we got celebration ending. Then the last thing that happens on celebration two is signing up for my retreat. So that's why I'm doing these two videos, even though I really wanted to do other things. Um, well, not that I wanted, but you know, there's other things calling my name because they have to be done as well. So I'm cramming these in for y'all, but, um, sign up for my online retreat does end at the end of August. I may extend it to till September 1st. Um, depending on if I get these, both of these videos up. So there are different ways to participate in my retreat. These are the three, whoops, a little bit bent there. The three stamp sets that are, that I am featuring during the retreat, but that doesn't mean that you have to use those. You can, um, substitute any of them that you have that are similar. So if you have a Christmas tree, if you have the, this is the one in the annual catalog, trimming the tree. If you have the one in the light to glow, it would probably work. I haven't looked exactly at them, but you know, you're, you all are creative. You can substitute. If you have peaches, you could probably do the peaches for the apple. Um, and this is the only one you could probably do the mountains for it, but this one has dyes that are a little bit different than the ones that are the mountains like this. So these are the three sets. All inf information, I have to stop talking so fast, um, is on my website, or if you're in my on my email list, then you'll get an email too. So you gotta sign up for that. And then starting September 1st, a couple of fun things. One, I'll have a new host code special. Two, the dies that I've used on these will be available for purchase. And there's more too. So I've shown you the piggies. If you missed the piggy video, that is here. And actually I should put this here because I'm gonna talk about that in a second. Um, I have the, the Yeti. I have those dies, but I haven't made a card with them yet. So there's those. And then starting in September, they are going to do four weeks of weekly specials. I have no idea what they are because they haven't told us what they are yet. But over the course of the month, each week, there will be several items that are on special. They'll only be on special for a week and they'll be while, while supplies last. And it's all current merchandise. So you want to uh, make sure you're on my email list so you know what that is. So today's card, I am going to use, well, I was going to tell you that I was going to use the waterfalls because that is one of the um, stamp sets in the retreat. And I just wanted to give you another quick glance at two of them because that's all the days I have left. That's why I may extend it till, till September 1st. So these are the new ones, waterfall dies. Um, I've taken a bunch of them off because I've used them, and but they're tiny, so they fit in all these little crevices. So that's the card I'm going to do for you today just to um, show you the dies. If you're not doing the retreat, you can still buy the dies. Um, but I did want to give you one more look. So the, the card I'm going to make today, if you saw this one, this was with one sheet of white cardstock. Mine today is going to be with a sheet of vanilla using the same kind of technique where you just use die cuts and stamps, but I'm not stamping much today, and then color them in to make them the colors. So you don't have to have every single sol solitary color of cardstock. After a while, you feel like you might have to, but you don't have to to get started. So if you're new to this, you can make um, the cardstock that you have work. So today, I'm just going to use my um, situation because I have two cards here is very precarious. I'm going to use these three dies. So we're going to do the whole card with this. And then I picked a uh, saying out of Charming Sentiments. So if you are a new stamper, 
or you just want a great one that has tons of sentiments because this has everything. I just picked out the wishing you the happiest of birthdays because this is, this could easily be a card for the men in your life. So I wanted to keep it that way. So I'm going to run these through. You don't need to see me because I don't have room on the um, table right now for my cut and emboss machine. Um, I'm going to run the trees through twice. So I'll end up with six trees. This cuts two birds and then the the boulder. Punch these out. So I rolled the trees through twice. So I have six of those. Some of them are still stuck. I found using, last time I used my plate, you can use this big block. So I'm going to use it again in a second. But it makes them a little bit easier to pick these guys up because they are tiny. So I still have a bird that's stuck in the paper. And then I also used this. Because again, tiny, tiny little dies we have going on this card. But it makes such a cute, adorable card. And the dies are really unique. So for this particular set, when you get the ones in the new, it's called Perfect Partners. When you get the matching dies to go with the waterfalls, you'll have some really really unique dies that you could use. So we have these just cut out of vanilla cardstock. So I'm going to grab blends and that's how I did the piggy card. So we cut all these pieces out and then those are all just white and I just colored them. So it's going to give it a little bit of a different tone when we use vanilla as our base. I have dark and um, light evening evergreen. So what I did was I wanted three shades of trees. So let's take one of each size and we'll start with the dark. Obviously you need to work on scrap paper to do this card. The other thing that I did not notice on my first one is that I didn't get all the way to the tips, which made it look a little bit like they were snow. They had snow on them. I don't want any snow yet. <laughs> so on this time, I'm gonna try to get all the way out to those tips. I have plans of soaking in every last bit of summer that I can this weekend. And in, in Indiana, and I know in a lot of states, it stays warm through September. So we could get, hopefully it stays warm for a long, a lot of September this year because we had such a late start to spring because it was so wet and then it got so hot. And so it kind of stunted the growth. And now that's why normally by the end of, August, I'm kind of over the tomatoes. You know, you're all so happy when you plant them all. And we do all of ours from seed inside. And we start, you know, in February. So you're so excited to get those first few. And normally by now, we've had so much homemade pasta sauce and so many nights where dinner consisted of plates of tomatoes with mozzarella. And my husband's like, where's the meat? This is the light. But this year, today, this morning, I did make our first thing a fresh pasta sauce because it just took so long because it got so hot so fast. Okay, so I have three light, three dark. So that gives us two different colors, but now I'm just going to go one more. So I'm going to take this tree right here because you know the more coats of blends you put on, oops, you put on something, the darker it gets. So we'll get one dark tree. That's going to give us four variations of color. And I think on these I got to the tips, although I did think so. I that I did the first time too. You could use any greens if to do this. Then we have our boulder or our granite. So I'm gonna use granite. Darker light, it doesn't matter because again, if you have the light one, you can just do more, more coats of it. Granite's my favorite color. It's, is it gray, is it brown? It's granite. Oh, come on. And the um, boulder has some nice embossing on it to make it look a little bit more realistic. Then I've got my two birds, and this is Dark Smoky Slate. I was gonna use black, but I'm in a hurry, and my black blend isn't laying on the table, so Smoky Slate it is. And that one's upside down, but it's gonna color. I should have gone, I'm trying to keep my fingers clean, because I should have done the messy card second in my filming order. But it is what it is, right? If you see my hands dirty in the Apple video, you'll know that it's because I did this card first. So we're done with that part. Easy peasy. I have a quarter sheet 
well, it's four by five and a quarter of vanilla. And then I went to get, I was going to get Night of Navy. Um, it's one of those times if you still have your moonlight, use that. But then I saw Starry Sky. I have not used, I've used a ton of the parakeet and then the other colors. I haven't used Harley at all. So I was like, oh, I don't even remember what the other purple one's called. Orchid, I think. And I don't know where it was. <laughs> so I have my blending brush, but I decided to not do navy because I felt guilty that we have these new end colors and that I've used these so sparingly. And it's partly because I don't think there's a lot of paper that I've used right now to match them. And look, I just got that all over my stamp pad. So wishing you the happiest of birthdays. And it looks really, it ended up, I was glad I chose this color because it looks really pretty. And then I'm going to use my blending brush. Try not to get my birds. It's a dark color. So with that first push down, you barely want to touch your paper. And then you'll kind of have to work it out. So once it's on there, then blend. And because I use my brushes for like purples, this has other variations of purple in it, which I really always love, especially on cards like this, because it's not just giving me a starry sky. I couldn't even, that's how bad it is. I can't remember the name of it. So just give this a little bit of a starry sky. Isn't that pretty? This one's gonna be a little bit more of a, a more towards midnight than my other card because when I film, always darker, not intentional. And I'm gonna take my fine tip glue. I debated it's a fuzzy on whether or not to use the sticky the adhesive sheets, but they, on designs that are this tiny, it's still hard to get them off. So I decided we'll go for this, and that's why I'm gonna use my. Take your pick tool. I'm going to do three trees on either side. So try to mix up the colors and the sizes. But you don't want it to look like the same on both sides. So don't do the exact same pattern on both sides because that wouldn't happen in nature. And obviously this is a nature card. Put that one there. So you're just making a little pine grove. Isn't that easy? There are different shades of green. There we go. And this is where you it's so handy to have this end of the take your pick tool and now find my birds. So grab one. I could actually use it soaked well through well enough. I could use that size up the side if I wanted. And then just kind of place it on here. And just grab it. And a little bit of glue. That's all it takes to hold these on here. So we have this, and then I wanted it to look starry, like a starry sky. Let me get my lid on here. And the easiest way to do that is to take any color of blend. So I went with my gray granite just because that's the background piece, and it pulls in one more shade of the granite on here. I'm just going to take my blend. Get some stars up there. And then I wanted it to be sparkly. So it actually looks a little bit like lightning bugs. 
a little bit like stars. This one, it might look more like stars, yeah, because my background's darker. But where it got on my trees on my other card, it looks more like um, fireflies. You might have to go to my website to see that. It's a sunny day, so maybe the camera will pick it up, but you can especially see there where it hits on that darker starry sky and gives us those stars. Then, because I wanted this, well, I just dropped all the dice for my next card on the floor. And when I started the day, my desk was clean, but I had a Zoom call and I had to move everything over. And then I lost some things, like my black blends. I'm not quite sure where I laid them. So, you know, no matter how big your area starts out with, sometimes we all end up stamping in this much space, right? And that's exactly what happened to me. And just add this on here. But no ribbon, no embellishments, and then that way you can give it to any of the men in your life. Just have it handy. Got it. See, you'll see that on my Apple video. Here's my other one. Less of a starry sky, but equally as pretty. But if you're if you're giving it to one of the girls in your life who loves mountain climbing or loves nature, then by all means add some rhinestones to stand in for the stars because that would be pretty too. I think ribbon would probably detract because the dies on this are so tiny, but it's a really fun, easy card. So if you're interested in my retreat, remember you have till the end of the month to sign up. So many things going on that the easiest way to always know is on my email list. And I'll have one going out first thing tomorrow morning. Everybody have a great one. And now I'm going to make another card for you. Bye.